Oh, hey guys, welcome back to Matt DIY. So we're sitting in the 2012 Ford Escape here today. And uh, what we're actually gonna do is go ahead and take out the driver's seat and remove the belt pretensioner. And then we're also gonna, or the buckle pretensioner, I should say. And then we're also gonna take care of the belt pretensioner. As you can see, it's also all floppy and locked because it is blown. And then we're gonna send those out for repair. When they get back, we'll go ahead and throw them in. All in this video, show you guys how it's done. So it shouldn't be too bad. First step, we're gonna go ahead, tear this seat out. guys so that's it for now we'll be back when we get the new pretensioner rebuilt to reinstall and the uh, belt tensioner as well and we'll put this back together and we should be good as far as the airbag light is concerned all right guys so we got some of the airbag parts in almost forgot to film it but uh just remembered so we're actually gonna go ahead and throw the uh pretensioner seat belt back in as well as the buckle and then get everything back in and reset the codes and we should be good to go so let's get ahead go ahead and get into it
you guys. Hopefully I captured that pretty good there. We got the uh, seat belt and everything all back in. Um, everything's nice and how it should be now and rebuilt. Got the pretensioner connected back up. Uh, I'm going to throw the seat back in. We just got that done. And tighten it down, plug it in, and then we'll get on the code reader and reset the airbag. And we should be fine. The airbag light should go out. Should be good to go. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and throw in the seat. Alrighty guys, all that's left to do with the airbag system is simply clear the codes. So what we're going to go ahead and do is get out the, sorry for the shaky camera work here, get out the uh, ML629 code reader. This is a uh, Alltel version. Um, and we're going to actually go into the restraint control module, as you can see there. And we're going to go in there and we're going to erase codes. Ignition on, engine off, yes. And guys, this does uh, any kind of uh, ABS codes, airbag codes, and um, engine transmissions. It's really good for cars that have been in accidents. It's really, really easy to work with. So we shouldn't see any codes now once this is done. There we go, system pass, no faults detected. So that means we no longer have an airbag light on in this car. So, what we can do now is turn the ignition off, fire it up, and once it does its normal system checks, our airbag light will go out. And there we go. There we have it, guys. Like an accident never even happened. Uh, cleared the airbag codes and that seatbelt code is just because me doesn't have a seatbelt on, but if I put one on, that should work too with this new belt buckle. And there we go clean dash guys we are done all right so thanks for tuning in guys hopefully you learned something about pre-tensioners or if you needed to install one in a ford escape hopefully this helped you out i tried to get accurate camera work as i could uh, but you know being one person sometimes it gets a little sketchy so if you have any questions or things i can help out with uh drop them down in the comments below i'll be sure to do that for you um, like this video if it helped you out consider subscribing if you want to see more car things in the future and rebuilds uh, wrecked vehicles things like that and until next time, guys, be sure to always get out there and do it yourself.